welcome to an extremely busy Monster Energy FIM motocross of nations here in Ernay, France. The crowd are going crazy, so it's a great atmosphere down here on the grid. Now, I want to speak to Preet Ratsep. Hi, Preet, from Team Estonia. In the past, Preet, Team Estonia often managed to do pretty well at the Nations. Are you hoping to put in a repeat performance this weekend? Yeah, of course. Uh, even with myself in the team, uh, we've been seventh overall in yeah. Lommel, I think. So uh, I, th I know we can do well because uh, all our teammates are fast and actually we just need good starts that we can uh, we can run up up and on the front and uh, yeah basically what now what we need is a little bit of luck well i hope you have that luck best of luck i want to speak to max nagel he was here a minute ago but he has disappeared oh he's just over here putting his helmet on if i could quickly grab a word with him max just a quick word how are you feeling i know you've just come back from injury are you feeling fit enough yeah, it's all right. Uh, I'm feeling okay, not 100%, but um, it's enough now. And uh, I'm really looking forward to ride here at these nations because the track is in really good position. Enjoy it. Thank you very much, Max. Time now for the MXGP qualifying. The gate drop for the first qualifying race of the day. MXGP, Ben Townley getting a flyer for New Zealand, but it was the 31, Philip Benson who crossed the Fox hole shot line first and led around the first corner. Townley, though, held a nice tight line through the inside, and then all of a sudden, Benson found himself going backwards as Townley fired himself into the lead. Paulan was well-placed in third on the number one to Dijker. For Belgium, also there, getting himself up into second by the end of the first lap. Max Nagel, though, wasn't so lucky. He fell at the bottom of the hill, as did the uh, 55 of Martin Barth, Team Ireland, Justin Barsha catching the rear wheel of the Irishman. But Paulan was on a charge, and uh, the 109 crashed out spectacularly. Lucas Neurauter of Austria, he picked himself up, just lost the front coming in to turn two, and then fell again as he tried to remount. It was a good fight back though, because he eventually got back to 16. Nagel had a simple slip at the bottom of the hill. He was in ninth place, dropped down to 11. But then he put in a hard charge as well, got himself back to four. So riding pretty well was the German. All of a sudden, though, Gautier Paulin came alive. He got himself into third. He was all over the rear wheel of the number four of Kenda Dijker, riding for Team Belgium. Ben Townley. Riding for New Zealand was your leader, though, but was starting to get closed in on around about the halfway mark as Paulan showing us some of his skills through the wave section. Paulan went round the outside of the die cut and then up the inside, found his way neatly through into second on lap five. And then he did a similar thing to Ben Townley. Townley Chose a wrong line, got caught behind a back marker. Paulan couldn't have asked for an easier pass. And by lap six, Paulan was the new leader. And listen to the crowd. So Paulan led for France. Townley was second for New Zealand. Third at that stage was Kenda Dyker. Sean Simpson was down in fourth, being harassed by the number seven, the American Justin Barsha. And as the race went on, Sean Simpson, well, it was a little bit backwards and forwards between him and Barsha. Barsha got close on several occasions, but not before. Simpson made that move down the inside of Dijker, who then failed to get on the gas, couldn't jump the double, and immediately was passed by Barsha. Dijker suddenly down behind those two guys. But a great ride for Gautier Paulin. He was victorious in race one. Townley second, Barsha third, Nagel fourth. Dijker was fifth. Congratulations. You really have that support from the French crowd there, and you seem to get more comfortable as the race went on. Is that the case? Yeah, exactly. Lap after lap, I was feeling more comfortable. That public, it's awesome, <laughs> unbelievable, nice. Like, wow, when I pass on lead, it's, um, it's just crazy. And uh, 
I had a good ride, uh, not the best start ever, but uh, still, you know, the track's really rough, really nice ground, really soft, so you can really go where you want. But, you know, it's tricky because the lines are long, so if you choose one, you stay for a while inside, in, so no, it's definitely good for, for my team. Now I'm waiting to see what Marvin Musquin and Romain Fer will do to, to qualify for tomorrow. Great job. Thank you, Gautier. Justin Barsha, congratulations. Third in qualifying. You passed Sean right in the last lap there in the very last moment. Yeah, guys are riding good. It's uh, We had a bad gate pick, 28th. Had the fight from the outside, passed a lot of guys. It's very slick, hard to switch up the line, so definitely challenging, but uh, definitely looking for more. I felt good out there. The bike's good. Just got to you know pick better lines and follow those guys. Great job. Thank you. Ben Townley, congratulations. Second in qualifying. Great start for Team New Zealand. Not bad for a semi-retired guy. Yeah, not bad at all, eh? I, I believe, I've always believed I still got, well, I believed in my head that I still had it. So, um, yeah, it was nice to get a good start and, and sort of run, run up front. And I did ride tight. Like, I, I honestly believe it's still not as good as I can ride, what I did out there then. But, um, yeah, I, it was uh, nice to be up front and just a wicked atmosphere, you know. Yeah. My most uh, memorable moment of my entire career was here in 2005. And I have to say, it's only Saturday, but that was just ridiculous. Uh, the, the fan support for uh, Gautier when uh, he was behind me was incredible. And yeah, uh, it's cool. I'm, uh, I'm stoked about it. Good luck for tomorrow.